Hi, my name is Josh. I want to show you my dust collector system that I made from ideas off of YouTube and share some of my ideas with you. I started out with uh, inch and a half schedule 40 conduit, electrical conduit that I used for my uh, main run. Comes all the way around here to my miter saw. I used the uh, conduit, it was a little bit cheaper than the white PVC pipe. Uh, down here for my miter saw, I used inch and seven eighths flex hose off one of my shot vacs. I actually cut this one, but because that's uh, that's a moving moving tool, it's going to need a flex hose. And I used uh, 90 degree sweeps. Uh, on that turn and actually I used one back here in the corner that you can see there just so there's a nice even flow <clears throat> and on each of my tools I used a uh, one of these inch and a half ball and cock valves so I wouldn't be drawing from every tool when I turn on my shot vac and I'd have maximum pressure down here at this end uh, on my fixed tools, like this uh, bandsaw here, I just used regular piping. I actually brought it up to 2 inch going into the uh, the port. Uh, a lot of the porch, ports were uh, 2 inches. It was just a little bit cheaper than buying uh, a 10 foot, $20 shot back hose for each tool. This was the uh, the other half of my inch and seven eighths hose that I used for my uh, router table because this is also a uh, moving part. Now I'll come down here to the, uh, the sander station. <coughs> I just took one of these uh, totes you can get them at Walmart or wherever, and I uh, cut the bottom off. A little bit off the bottom and off the back so it would go around my belt sander. I actually had to take remove the table there on the side wheel because uh, it wouldn't fit in there but none of this is bolted down so I can actually pull that out throw my table on if I need to. And I got a hose coming into this which all the dust flies off of this into the back and usually the, the shot back will pick it up. This is just one of the connectors that come with the shot back hose, and I used a jigsaw to uh, drill a two and a half inch hole there. And you can't see it, but on the inside, I just wrap some electrical tape around to hold it. And you come down here, my joiner is also a uh, fixed bench top tool. It has. Uh, I brought that from two inch up to uh, an inch and a half ball and cock valve, and I went inch and a half just because uh, it saved me about five dollars on the on the valve itself. And I used these little uh, T's here with the the directional flow for everything's going towards the shot back, and uh, this hole's going into my belt sander station actually doubles as my uh, hose that comes over here and hooks onto my table saw. I just gotta swap them back and forth but yeah, I saved about another $30 there by doing that. Uh, now the down here at the end where the shot back is I actually went with the uh, cone shaped vortex system. I used a uh, road cone into a uh, five gallon pail and on top here I just got a quarter inch MDF which I cut out with a jigsaw and bolted down on the inside I used a small piece of uh, inch and a half conduit there just to get my my shot back three inches below the pipe coming into the uh, cone there. I cut that out and just put a screw in there with a washer and a nut on the back of it to hold it. And 
put some wood liquid nails around it to kind of seal it up. On the inside here I got some wire going down the cone and the purpose of that is so the cone doesn't collapse when you turn the shot back on. Originally I didn't have that there and I had uh, actually had some plexiglass on top of, uh, top of this here <clears throat> so I could view the, uh, the vortex make sure there wasn't any clogs or problems videotape this myself and what happened was the cone collapsed and the plexiglass broke and I had to go with the uh, the MDF there but you can see the shot back hooks into the into the cone and the shot back will draw everything down the pipe and create the vortex and everything falls into the five gallon Home Depot bucket there instead of going into the shot back uh, that wire I just took another cone and I just took it and wrapped it around another cone on the outside and made the mold and it fit down in there nicely and it actually uh, works pretty good. You can also use a uh, copper gas line or uh, anything that's uh, solid and it's going to hold it. Some people make a uh, wood frame around the cone also. So uh, we'll give her a shot, give her a little test and uh, show you how it works. Fortunately, I don't have a uh, auto switch just yet. I'm still looking for one, and I was thinking about going with a uh, remote, just throw a carabiner on it, clip it on my belt when I'm out here working to turn the shot back on. It is kind of annoying going back and forth to turn this on and off, but I got a little pail full of uh, some sawdust over here, and I'll use. <clears throat> I use the end of my run to show you how much suction we actually have off my miter saw. So I'll turn the shot back on and show you how this works. You can see I got some uh, pretty good suction there at the end of this run. I have all the other valves closed on my tools. I just have the one for my uh, miter saw over there open. And, uh, yeah, it's the same pressure you'd get just out of the the shot back like normal. And put that back there. And you can see the, uh, the bucket's now empty. And come back over here and shut this off. Also show you that the uh, the uh, shot vac itself is pretty clean. You know, there's a little few things that get by here and there, but for the most part, it's clean. has been collected here in this bucket. You can see down there in the hole. Try to get in the light here, but I'll take this right off. Set the camera down. Get the lid off this thing because I got it sealed, sealed up pretty tight. And there she is. The 
dust and debris that was in the bucket or in the flower pot down there. I used some uh, electrical tape around some of the fittings. Uh, those ball and cock valves turned pretty hard, so I didn't want the connectors coming apart. But I didn't glue anything because I do want to be able to take it apart in case I do get a clog. Uh, the inch and a half uh, pipe seems to work pretty good. A lot of guys use two inch. Um, I haven't had any problems yet. So. And that's it. That is my dust collector system. Hope this, uh, I hope this helps you out. And, uh, Take care.